Hi guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Tabitha and I do mainly hair videos on this channel, but I also throw in some other things as well. And then I have a second channel where I talk about fragrance and perfumes. I have a bit of an obsession, so you can check that out if you're interested, but if you're into hair videos, I would love if you would subscribe and join the family over here. You can also join me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. But anyways, today we're gonna be talking about products that I don't like. Um, these are products that didn't work for my hair or that I wouldn't recommend for people with similar hair to me. I don't usually do videos like this, not because I just like every product, but just because it feels weird to make um, a negative video dedicated to products I don't like. But I think that it's important to do this because that way it kind of gives you guys a little bit more of an idea of what you might want to try and what you might not want to try. Maybe you have similar hair concerns to mine. So yeah, we're gonna get into the products. Keep in mind, everyone's hair is different. So if something works for you here that didn't work for me, that's totally fine. This is just my opinion. And these are the products that I personally don't like or don't use. Okay, let's start with a couple of curl creams. So I have here the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. This is a product that I've had for a really long time. I talked about this in my very first hair routine. And this was years ago, I think it was like 2018. So I was still figuring my hair out and how to take care of it. And this is a product that I realized since is just too thick and too heavy for my hair. This line smells really good. I love the coconut and hibiscus scent. But this product is just very, very thick and heavy. And if you have very curly hair, like type three or four hair, this may work for you. It depends what you like in your hair. It depends if you have coarse or fine hair. But for my type two uh, waves, this just was too much. And my hair is, I would say, more coarse than it is fine, although it's not super coarse. It used to be very coarse when I was younger and I've noticed it's not quite as much as an adult, but it definitely is still more coarse than fine. And this still was just too much for my hair. I know that sometimes creams can just be too heavy for people with fine hair and often they're better suited to people with more coarse hair. But even though I have more coarse hair, this was still just a lot for me. I know I recommended this in that old video, but again, you guys, we learn things as we go. The products that we use change. So yeah, that is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And again, I think this would work better for people with very, very curly, very coarse hair. The next one is the We Dead Curl Shaper Take Shape Plumping and Defining Cream. And this one isn't quite as heavy, but it's definitely still a thicker, heavier cream. This one, I found that if I would mix it with my We Dad um, like leave-in milk, or if I like kind of watered it down by like putting some on my hands and then letting water kind of run over them, then it did what I needed it to do and didn't weigh my hair down. But to be honest, I have so many hair products and there's so many great affordable products out there that you don't have to take the extra step to do that with, if that makes sense. Like that was just too much for me to want to use this product. And even though it's not as much as the Shea Moisture one, and if you do have really thick, curly, coarse hair, maybe try this one first, although that one is more affordable. So it really just depends what you're willing to spend, but I would recommend this one over that one if you don't want something that's really overly heavy because this one isn't quite as bad, but I still wasn't willing to take the extra time to make it work when I have so many other products that I really love and use all the time. Then we have something that I actually did a video on recently and this is a product from Heritage. So this is a really, really affordable hair care brand that you can pick up at Walmart and you can get it online. In my video where I reviewed these products, I tried out these down to the basics fragrance-free shampoo and conditioner. This conditioner, I think I might've mentioned in the video, was just too like cleansing and stripping for me and it didn't really make sense that this was called just a traditional conditioner instead of a co-wash. To me, this was much more of a co-wash, but even in that case, it didn't provide enough moisture for me to just use it in that way. 
And then also I feel like it's a little bit misleading to have a product that, that is this cleansing and not call it a co-wash. It just doesn't really provide the moisture that I want for my hair. I find that even like a really thin kind of milky conditioner does more for moisturizing my hair than this did. Maybe if your hair gets greasy or way down really easily and you're looking for a fragrance free product that you can use as a co-wash, maybe check this out, but for me, it just did not do the job and what I needed to do. So I'm gonna pass on the Heritage Fragrance Free Conditioner, although I did actually really enjoy the shampoo. This was just a good, nice, like everyday shampoo. I wouldn't use shampoo every day, but it was kind of like a basic, just simple cleansing, but not stripping, not overly moisturizing, fragrance-free shampoo. So if you are looking for a good fragrance-free shampoo, I recommend checking this one out. It's very affordable and I personally like to mix and match my shampoos and conditioners. I don't always use the same ones from the same line. So yeah, I would recommend checking this out and maybe you have a conditioner that would pair really nicely with this. Then next we have a dry shampoo from Cake. So I actually did a video a while ago comparing the Cake mousse with my Not Your Mother's mousse. And the Not Your Mother's mousse did kind of pull forward or like win for me in that video, but I did still really enjoy the Cake mousse and I've been wanting to try other products from them. So I saw this very discounted and I picked it up. It is the Cake Do Gooder Totally To Die For Volumizing Dry Shampoo. Also this packaging really just kind of sucks me in. I love this hot pink color. I think it's really fun. And I love the fact that the brand is Cake and they do a lot of like food kind of related things. They also smell really good. But anyways, when I tried this out, I was just very disappointed by the fact that it really didn't do anything for my hair. Um, maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit, but if I'm going to put dry shampoo on my hair, I need it to soak up the oils and it just didn't do anything. Like it was very odd because this actually left kind of like a cold feeling on my scalp and it came out completely clear, did not leave any kind of a white cast. So it was very interesting and kind of weird like applying it because it's like coming out this aerosol spray completely clear no white cast and it's like cooling on the scalp so i wasn't sure what to expect when i shook my hair out it looked exactly the same and i applied more and it still looked exactly the same so this is one that i would definitely pass on even though this is an affordable brand i think there's a lot better affordable dry shampoos out there like batiste but if you don't want a white cast try out the not your mother's ones you might prefer that to batiste if you feel like batiste gives you too much of a white cast but the cake one even though i really wanted to like this it just didn't work for me and it just didn't do anything for my hair honestly i need a dry shampoo that's actually going to do its job so this did not do that for me next we have this john frida cream oil this was actually sent to me and honestly some of these other products were too i'm going to be honest with you guys and tell you my genuine thoughts because that's what i make these videos for i would want someone to tell me the truth about which products did and didn't work for them whether or not the brand gifted them the product so it doesn't mean that i don't like these brands there's still other products from these brands that i absolutely love it's just sometimes something doesn't work for your hair and that's just how it goes. Everybody's hair is different, like I said, but I really liked the concept of this cream oil kind of product because it comes out like a cream, but when you rub it together in your hands, it does have this like kind of oily texture and it seems like it's going to be really hydrating and moisturizing, which it is, but a little bit too much. It really weighed my hair down. I just found that this was too much for my hair and I have so many other products that I like, so many other creams that I really enjoy that even though this kind of like sucked me in, you guys know I love these kind of like hybrid products. I love unique products and a cream oil really just kind of like intrigued me. But even though this looked very interesting to me, it ended up not working and I have to just accept that because like I said, I have so many other products that I love and this just weighed down my hair. And it's very interesting how that works because I use oils on my hair a lot, even though I don't use excessive amounts, I always use an oil to scrunch out my hair at the end of my wash day when my hair is completely dry. It's like my go-to thing. I like always do that. So I wouldn't think that like an oil type product would weigh my hair down. And also this is very thin in comparison to like these creams I talked about. This is a very thin, light kind of 
textured product. So you would really think that it wouldn't do that, but just like this cream to oil kind of hybrid, it was too intense for a styler for me. I wasn't sure how I felt about this on first impressions because I think I tried this out for the first time in a vlog and I was kind of on the fence about what it was that did that to my hair. And I discovered that it was definitely this. It's just too much of an oily kind of consistency for my hair. Then we have a shampoo. So this is from the brand Playa and Playa has sent me some products and I really have enjoyed all of the other products that they've sent me, but this one just didn't work for my hair. So this is the Violet Brightening Shampoo. It says that it removes green from chlorine and brassiness from hard water buildup. So in my mind, when this was sent to me, that was perfect for me because I had a balayage in my hair that would tend to get brassy and I also have hard water here at my house which I really need to get filters for the shower, but that's a conversation for another day. So I was really interested to try this out. You guys, this made my hair so dry and it like completely stripped my hair of like any moisture to the point where it was so tangly, I could not like barely touch my hair. It was just like stiff and tangled and dried out and like it felt i don't know it was really really intense i don't know if that was just because it's like trying to strip like all the stuff out of your hair that you get from hard water buildup but i just didn't feel like it did that in the right way for my hair i don't know like it just completely dried my hair out and i couldn't use it again after that it was too much so if you have dry hair i would not recommend this that's just my opinion if you have this product and you like it great but it didn't work for me and i don't recommend it for anyone that has even remotely dry hair like it was very intense. So I'm running out of space on my SD card, so I'm gonna pop in another one and I'll be back. I do have two more products here to share, but they're both products that I don't dislike. I just don't like the packaging of the product, if that makes sense. So first of all, we have the Twist by Weedad Big Rich and Dreamy Ultra Hydrating Co-Wash. Actually, now that I think about it, it's not just the packaging I don't like about this product. I don't like the name because to me, this is not a co-wash at all. It is 100% a very thick, heavy moisturizing conditioner and it does absolutely nothing in the realm of cleansing your hair. I have other conditioners that are lighter than this that don't claim to be co-washes that would do a better job at co-washing. Anyways, enough rambling about that. This product is so thick and so heavy actually that it doesn't even come out of the like squeeze lid. You have to take the lid fully off and squeeze it out of this giant hole. <laughs> this is the product that if I don't use too much of this, I actually really enjoy this. It does a really great job at moisturizing my hair and it's just very thick and like hydrating and I really enjoy it for that reason, but you can't use too much of it first of all, but also just like the packaging and the name, it just doesn't make sense to me because it's not a co-wash and it's so hard to get out of this bottle. So that kind of bugs me about it, although I don't dislike the product. It's just the packaging that bugs me and the name. And then next we have a product from Amika. I love the packaging of this brand. I think it's so pretty and just like fun, but I don't love the packaging of this actual product. This is their Volt Color Lock Leave-In Conditioner. And I love a good leave-in, you guys know, but this one, when it comes out, it's kind of deceiving because it's so like thick and milky for a spray leave-in that when you spray it on your hand, it just like clumps up in like a little ball as if you just poured it out. And to me, that just doesn't make sense. I feel like a spray leave-in should be lighter to where when you spray it throughout your hair, it's not gonna like weigh your hair down. But this like one spray on my hand, maybe two is like enough for my whole head and there's no way that if i sprayed this on my hair i could get it evenly all over my hair in one or two sprays so to me that really just defeats the purpose of a spray leave-in like if you're not going to be able to spray enough sprays to get it evenly throughout your hair without weighing your hair down then it doesn't make sense and i think that this should be in like a traditional little like squeezy bottle or a pump like this I just don't think it makes sense to put it in a spray, especially since it's kind of deceiving. And if someone just goes 
at their hair with this and start spraying it in their hair, their hair is probably gonna get weighed down a little quick and you have to actually test it on your hand to be able to see like how much product you get with one spray. And it's a nice product, don't get me wrong, but a little goes a long way and I just don't enjoy the type of packaging that this is in. But anyways, you guys, that is all of the products I had to talk about in this video. Let me know if you wanna see another video like this. And then also let me know if you have any other video suggestions for me. I would love to hear down in the comments. Like I said before, if you are new and you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate if you would consider doing so and giving the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it or helped you out in any way. Love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.